Chris Woodfield, who is also on my left over here. And Chris is um, the Knowledge Exchange Officer with um, the Low Carbon Devon Project and here to tell us about the support they can they can provide for SMEs on their low carbon journey. So I'm going to hand you without further ado to Chris. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Cheers, Al. And thanks, Paul, as well. So my name is Chris Woodfield and I am the Knowledge Exchange Officer for the Low Carbon Devon Project. So I'm based within the Sustainable Earth Institute. Uh, so I work directly with Paul, who has just spoken. And I'm going to be talking about the Low Carbon Devon Project. And this is one of many projects within the Institute. And I'm just going to highlight what that is, and but also home in on the knowledge exchange aspect and then the Low Carbon Devon Internship Programme. So what is it then? So it's an exciting new opportunity here in Devon. So it's focused on catalyzing action towards a low carbon economic growth. And it's focused directly on engaging with SMEs, so small and medium sized enterprises and tackling climate change. So taking this huge global challenge, but looking at what we can do locally in a practical and solutions focused way. And it's got four main areas. So I'm just going to talk through each of these four areas in turn. So the first one is this beautiful building here on the right. So it's the refurb of the university building into the sustainability hub. So this is a thriving collaborative space for local groups, social enterprises, students, academics, members of the public to come together and utilize this space. And then we have the carbon reduction project as a whole. So not just focusing on that one building, but looking at what we can do across the university estate to reduce our carbon emissions, such as LED lighting and other buildings, for example. And then we have the third component, which is focused on research and innovation. So it's looking at these four areas here listed. So we have a member of staff who's working on each of these four areas, looking at using the sustainability hub as a testing ground, as a living lab, but also engaging with local organizations in these four areas. And then the knowledge exchange aspect is focused on delivering a series of events like this one, but also the low carbon Devon internship opportunity. So I'm just going to expand on that over the next couple of slides. So it's a three month work placement, placing current students and recent graduates within Devon based enterprises and it's fully funded by the project and it's to work on a low carbon project. So it's a really exciting opportunity. And alongside that work experience, we'll be delivering a series of change leadership and personal development workshops. So these are weekly or bi-weekly workshops focused on upskilling the interns. And the approach I'm taking for this is really focused around how can we provide an innovative internship program our students with the tools, knowledge, confidence and inspiration to be active change makers. So it's this workshop or this work experience combined with these leadership workshops. And framing that is the what, the why and the how. So really looking at what needs to change and why, but how do we solve problems creatively? Because business as usual isn't good enough and we really need to transform the way that we do things in a way which inspires change and where better to do that than locally here in Devon with our young leaders. Framework for these workshops is focused around something called the Plymouth Compass. So this has been developed over the past couple of years here at the university and the workshops will focus in on each aspect of the compass. And wouldn't it be amazing if all of our students left university with these future facing attributes. And these workshops will also involve things like design thinking, facilitation skills, listening, different leadership styles, conflict resolution, things like this, as well as that knowledge of the circular economy and donor economics, the planetary boundaries, and as Paul mentioned, the sustainable development goals. So not just what the goals are, but how can we practically implement them locally? So this is the SDG Action Manager, 
and it's a free tool that local organizations can use to track their progress against the SDGs. So it's about empowering the interns with this knowledge and then giving them an opportunity to put it into practice locally through their work experience. And it's also introducing things like the B Corp, so using business as a force for good. And this is just one of many environmental and social certification standards that businesses can achieve. So to sum up the internship program then, it's really an opportunity and a space for the interns to develop their own passions, employability and transferable skills, as well as growing as sustainable global citizens whilst taking action on a local project. This is being launched at the moment, being run in cohorts, so starting next February, and then being run throughout the year at different times, and then this repeated into 2022 as well. So it's really about practical solutions focused action combined with leadership development. And at the moment, I'm actively looking for Devon based enterprises to take part. So if you know of anyone, or if you're in the audience, or you'd like to get in touch with me if you're a student, or a local organization who'd like to partner with this, some of the workshops I mentioned, then please do get in touch. I'd really love to hear from you. So as a whole then, I've just given you a brief outline of the Low Carbon Devon project, and then homed in on the Low Carbon Devon internship opportunity. And just to pause before we finish, I just wanna finish on this notion of, are we being good ancestors? So how do we think long-term in a short-term world. And this diagram that I'm going to show is taken from this book, The Good Ancestor. And I'll just talk you through it. And that green dot towards the top there is 7.7 billion. So that's the current population. And then above that is the gray dot, which says 100 billion. So that's the past 50,000 years, how many people have lived and died. And then projecting that same time scale forward is represented by that orange dot there. And that says unborn generations. So in the next 50,000 years, that's how many people are estimated to be born. And it, as you can see, it's orders of magnitude bigger. It's way bigger than the other two dots. So for me, that really highlights the opportunity that lays ahead and really puts it into context that our actions today will have a huge impact, not just on the number of people yet to be born, but on their quality of life. And that is a really exciting opportunity. It's uncertain, yes, but I think we need to embrace that uncertainty with a sense of courage, compassion, and creativity. And where better to do that than where we are right now, place-based change. So this is Plymouth. So if you're in Plymouth or Devon, or wherever you are in the world, local action really does make a difference and for me all the best stuff happens on the edge and plymouth from the southwest is definitely on the edge it's this amazing space where land meets the sea and it's a perfect mixing spot of creativity innovation and practical action so i really encourage you to get in touch with me if you want to partner on any of the stuff that i mentioned and really make it happen here so we can co-create and collaborate a thriving future where we can all flourish. So thank you for listening and please do get in touch. My email address is here and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.